Okay, so next up we have the decoder tab and I have opened a new temporary project as always so that we have a clean environment to work with and we can or I can show you everything from the very scratch. So let's go to the decoder tab and see what it is. Now as the name suggests, decoder is nothing but the simple tool in burp suite that helps you to encode and decode and even sometimes hash some data. So most of the websites that you will see during your bug bounty hunting assessments or penetration tests, you will notice that they, when they have some critical data, they will not usually store it in some usual form. Like if you're talking about the password database of a company, for sure they are not going to put it in original text because in case some hacker or bad person gets access to it, it can be misused very well. So that's why they will store it in, for example, a hashed form. Similarly, for more technical informations, like on the URL, sometimes they have their URL encoding or on their some of the codes, they might have base64 encoding. So if you deal with that kind of data, you will not be usually able to understand what that is about because it's encoded and you need to decode that to get it in the original form because you will only be able to properly understand the original form. You don't know the other languages. It's just like that. So. What you need to do here is first of all, let me show you encoding and then I will show you decoding. So for decoding or actually encoding, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type a text. For example, this is a text. And now I can just go ahead and click on this encode as button. And here I can manually select which kind of encoding I want to do on it. So for example, the base 64 encoding, and then you will see that it gets colored with the specific base64 color. So my first text that I have encoded that just gets into this color. And then I have my base64 encoded form of this data. So now you can see these are very different, but their meaning, their final meaning when someone will decode it, it will be the same. Okay. Now I can just try to again use this and do it on multi levels. So maybe I can again encode it and this time with ASCII hex. Okay, now I have the ASCII hex of the space 64. I can again go ahead and put some special type of, let's say, URL encoding on it. Now I have this special encoded, you know, file. I have, not, not file actually, I have this special encoded data. And this data is essentially the same as the first one. But we have encoded it so many times. Now, if we have this data and sometimes we start from here is that we have some encoded or weird data like this. And what we want to do with it is that we want to decode it so that we can get it in its original form. Now, I will again have to go and select the last time what I did. So I have to first of all decode it as a URL. Then I have this. And I can again decode it as ASCII hex. I can again go ahead and this one, I can again decode it with the final, which was B64. Oh, yeah, I have this decoded now. So you can see we encoded it on multiple levels and then we were also able to decode it on multiple levels as well. So that is the basic purpose of it. There is one more thing, which is hashing. So you can just hash some data if you want to in different forms. And I think there will be MD5 as well, but you have some popular ones like SHA-512, so you can just use it. And then you can get the complete hashed form. Now remember, hash datas are irreversible, irreversible. Sorry for the butchering that I did. So yeah, it's irreversible. You cannot reverse it. So that's why you don't have a dehashing something. You also have one more thing here, which is smart decode. So let me just take some of this thing. Okay. I have used P64 on it. I'll just put it here. And what I want to do with this one is that I want to smart decode it. When I try to smart decode it, what Bob Suite will try doing is 
simply just guessing what is the encoding or decoding algorithm and actually it, it will try to guess the encoding algorithm with which it was encoded and then it will try to decode it for us now in this case it's something weird so it's not able to do but if i just do and new encoding here like in url form and i have this url here now and then i try to click on smart decode you will see that it automatically detected that it was a url encoded form and then it gave me the final text after decoding so that's the basic use you can even do this with some hex data you can fill in that here and then encode decode hash as you want so that is all you can do with the decoder tab really useful i will show you some day later what can be some professional advanced uses of it thank you so much for now and this was about the basic function of the decoder tab